Well, welcome back, everybody. It is great to have you here. I don't know about you, but I am feeling really bullish about Dogecoin right now. It is looking really healthy. I know that it's down uh, percentage-wise today, but it is performing super well, and I feel like Dogecoin is singularly waiting for the crypto market to get healthy. Basically, Dogecoin right now is waiting for Bitcoin. It's like Bitcoin, come on, what are you doing? Get yourself, get your act together because I want to fly to the moon. That's the sense I'm getting from the chart. There's a lot of good news that I want to share with you, and I want to tell you where I think the bottom is right now because previous to this video, probably about a week or two ago, I told you that I thought the lowest it could go was 17 cents. And we tested that. And it basically fell to 17 cents. If I'm going to be honest with you, it did hit 16.8 change and then it went right back up to 17 it did that two times and that was the lowest i thought it could go if it went lower than that i was just gonna tuck my tail and turn to the corner but but i bought in at around 17 and change uh and i think i might have advised you guys to do that as well and if you did that was awesome it was hard to do it was difficult i didn't buy in a lot okay i'm not a millionaire or anything like that i'm a teacher so i got a teacher salary i got a family to take care of but I put in what I could, and it was tough. I was talking with my wife when I did it, and I said, well, what, what should I do? And it was a hard decision, but I did it, and oh my goodness, Dogecoin just started to come right back up, and then the next day up 30% at one point. Now it's drawing back down, but it's now holding true. It's actually testing some bottoms. I'm gonna tell you exactly where I believe the bottom is now with Dogecoin because it's consolidated so well, and then I'm gonna tell you about an upcoming meeting that Elon Musk is gonna have and why it's gonna be super good for Dogecoin. When Dogecoin and the crypto asset market is going to start to, I think, get really bullish and move up. And then I'm going to talk to you about El Salvador, Bitcoin. This is Dogecast. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider subscribing if you like. Give us a like, share the video. Love to have you come along with us. So this is Dogecoin's chart for the day. All the way back at the beginning, really early morning, we were up to 28 cents and a half. Things were looking really good, but we knew it wasn't going to stay up there for that long. You have to draw down. You have to consolidate, especially because Bitcoin did not want to come along with us. That's really one of the main reasons why Doge is consolidating back down. You have people that are trying to take profits right now and buy back in, but also Bitcoin and Ethereum just are struggling right now. So Doge is consolidating back down, and which is fine. And, and right at this point, right around 140, Doge tested its bottom two times. Now, this chart is not entirely giving you where it went, but it did go to 22 and change, 22.8, and then it went to around 22.9 again. The chart isn't really indicating that. So Doge tested 22 and change two times. I am going to tell you right now, if you're looking to reinvest, you want to try to hit a bottom, I think the lowest Doge can go now is 20 cents. I think that's the lowest it can go. I think it's consolidated out so strong that it can't go below 20 anymore. And if it hits 19 and change, just like it hit 16 and change the other day, it's going to bump right back up to 20 cents. I think the consolidated core of investors is so strong right now, it cannot dip below that 20 number anymore. And so if you're looking to reinvest, that's some information for you. Of course, do your own research and everything like that. I will only share with you what my thoughts are on it. And by the way, if you're not sure, you want to try to reinvest at the bottom, you can always pick a number, say like a hundred bucks, put in 50 of it. And if Doge goes down, put in 20. If it goes down again, put in 20. If it goes down again, put in five. And so you get to invest as it goes down, but if it goes up, then it's really good. So that's always a smart technique to use. Doge's future looks really good. So the upcoming weekend, we said it's going to be volatile for Bitcoin, and it has been. Bitcoin is, I think, down almost 10% today. Uh, Ethereum is down as well, really struggling. And next week is going to be a volatile as well. But July, I think, is going to be volatile in the opposite direction. I think that Bitcoin, Ethereum are going to start making gains, and this is going to help Doge out a lot because Doge, man, it's like a dog on a leash that wants to go, and it's being held back right now by the crypto leaders. And I think July is going to be that breakout month where things are going to go pretty crazy. It wouldn't surprise me by the end of July if Doge is up to 50 cents. I mean, in all honesty, it would not surprise me. Of course, there's always going to be consolidation. There's going to be whales playing games. There's going to be people buying and selling, people shorting, people squeezing. There's going to be all of that going on. Don't get lost in that stuff. 
Just buy and hold. And then if it does this stuff, don't think about buying and selling. You're going to get burned. Don't do it. You're a long-term holder, long-term investor in Doge. This is really good news. Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey plan Bitcoin chat at July event. And ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, thinks it's brilliant. If you scroll down, it's basically going to be a trio. You can see here Bitcoin bulls, Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO, and Squares as well. Elon Musk, Tesla agreed over Twitter on Friday to discuss the outlook of the world's number one cryptocurrency at an event next month. ARK Invest, Kathy Wood declared the idea brilliant. Uh, those tweets were coming out. And the cool thing about this is, is I believe that Elon will definitely bring up Dogecoin. He's so bullish on Dogecoin. And so it, good news for Bitcoin is good news for Dogecoin. And then if Elon is there, he's going to talk about Dogecoin. At least I think he will. Uh, and that'll be good for Dogecoin as well. This is really good news. El Salvador is going to install 1500 Bitcoin ATMs uh, as Bitcoin is set to officially become legal tender in early September. Remember, El Salvador all already voted on this and passed it by a super majority. This is a thing. It is going to happen. This country has now adopted it and other countries are going to follow. Within the next year, it wouldn't surprise me if we have at least 10 other countries following along with El Salvador, uh, adopting it by legal vote. Uh, and you can see here that it's an American company, US, uh, United States crypto firm, Athena Bitcoin plans to install 1500 Bitcoin crypto. In addition, there are more people that are getting bullish now on crypto assets. Bitcoin will be back above 70,000 by quarter for 2021, says Galaxy Digital Executive. I think that we can expect all that FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt that we have seen in recent weeks to kind of cause a flat trend in the market through the summer. And I think as we pull into the fall, a lot of the institutional adoption of these aspirational moves that we've seen will start to manifest itself. That is right. We are seeing uh, crypto assets being adopted everywhere, and it's not manifesting itself in the market. I actually think what's happening right now is that Bitcoin should be much lower than it is. I think Bitcoin should probably be around 22,000 right now, but it's actually being held up because the news is so good for crypto assets right now, but it hasn't really manifested itself in, in really good prices because this, this downtrend, this bearish trend was just set to happen. This guy here is saying that he thinks it's going to start pulling up in September. I actually think he might be off there. I think because what happens is investors that know if something is going to go up, they're not going to get in it when they know it's going to go up. They usually get in it before they know it's going to go up. So right now at the end of June, they know it's going to be volatile, volatile down. So they're not worried about it. But once July hits, you're going to start having people get antsy. I'm talking big time investors. I'm talking whales. I'm talking maybe even the hedge fund uh, managers, which I'm not so fond of them. And big time investors, they are going to pump back in. Uh, I believe in July and I believe in August because they are expecting uh, the fall season and forward to be really good. And like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if Dogecoin hit 50 cent mark by the end of July. In September, I, in September and October, I wouldn't be surprised if we start testing the highs, the 70 cent high that we've seen before. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. I don't know if we're going to be able to push to a dollar by the end of the year, but we might get close. Uh, I, I'm thinking we will be at the 90 cent mark by the year point. Uh, you can see Dogecoin is down 14.58%. Not a problem. A lot of consolidation, but it's mainly because Bitcoin is down nearly 10% today. If Bitcoin wasn't doing this, we would be okay. But we are expecting Bitcoin to do this. We shared this with you in yesterday's video. Uh, this wasn't necessarily supposed to be a great day for Bitcoin. And it kind of proved out that it wasn't a great day for Bitcoin. Ethereum is also down 7.76%. Uh, but in all honesty, everything's looking super good. I mean, the other cool thing right now is we are starting. And actually, if I go to the... Um, here, Let me see here. I, I think this guy actually talked about this. Um, oh, yeah, right here. Right, this quote right here. The smart players in the crypto space want to work with regulators to come up with solutions that address their concerns while simultaneously allowing the technology to flourish. This is a smart statement because there's a lot of crypto investors, for whatever reason, think that regulation is all bad. It's not. Regulation shows that a country is beginning to understand that that thing is becoming a part of society, that it's not going away. Way. And since it's not going away, since we're not going to abolish it or get rid of it, we need to live with it. So regulations is a country's way of saying we're going to live with something, 
But when they do the regulations, we want them to be smart. We don't want them to crack down on crypto assets. We want them to be smart regulations that address concerns. And what are the main concerns you have with cryptocurrency? Is, is you want it to be legitimate. You want it to not be used for criminal activity, of course. And you want uh, people to know they're safe if they're getting involved in it. And so the regulations should deal with the safety of crypto assets and and it you know being used in, for illegal purposes and also tax evasion, those sorts of things. Uh, and if the regulations only address those things and not necessarily other things like like making it centralized or something like that, whatever they could come up with, then the regulations are going to be really good because it's going to show that countries are actually adopting crypto assets. So let me finish up with this. What should we look forward for Dogecoin in the weekend? I don't think we should see any massive spikes this weekend. I think Dogecoin is going to hover right around uh, 22 and change. So 22.8. And 26, that's where I see it hovering Saturday, Sunday, even Monday and Tuesday. I see it in that area. It's not until July hits, and it it might even be July 1st, because people are going to get antsy. Okay, I don't want to say I'm calling it right now, but I might be calling it on July 1st. People are going to get antsy. Maybe July 1st, maybe July 2nd. We might see a volatile drop down before we see the, the pickup. But once that hits, I think people are going to start to get like, all right, it's time for me to get in because I know if I don't get in now, then I'm going to I'm going to lose out. And so look for that in July. Um, again, if you want to reinvest, 22 and change is a good spot to do it in. But everything is really pointing well for Dogecoin. I just see it, it wants to go up right now, but it just can't because the market's being held down uh, mainly by Bitcoin at this point. But that's going to end. Bitcoin is going to um, skyrocket off. And Doge is going to follow it. And uh, so we're in a really good spot. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave it below. But again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you come along with me. As always, I will catch you next time.